This area might make you think you're in a movie. One moment you're next to a turquoise lagoon, the next you're on the steepest switchback you've ever driven, traversing cliff edges amongst towering white peaks. Can we camp up here? Can we even breathe at nearly 20,000 feet above sea level? Guided by online photos of grand vistas, what we discovered for ourselves was beyond any expectations. A truly wild and unforeseen adventure. A bucketless drive. If driving the longest road in the world wasn't enough, give yourself 100 days to build a 4x4 motorhome capable of such a task. 40,000 miles crossing every type of terrain imaginable through some of the most feared and remote regions on Earth. Just for something to do? No. For something to write books about. Something to relish in the aliveness of living on the edge of the unknown insanity. Something to radically expand our perspective of what the world is actually like and what is possible within one lifetime. I'm Matthew. And I'm Stacy. And this is Toyota World Runners. Proudly presented by West Can Overland, off-road and design. are no longer in our field of vision. We've become anti-asphalt cowboys. As we leave behind the labyrinth of rock wall canyons and tunnels of the 3N, the gravitational pull on our necks directs our gaze to the Andes' most powerful rulers. Although exploration and mapping of this region is extensive, perhaps the unfrequented areas will offer us the surprise factor we're always seeking. With landslides being as frequent as rainfall, route planning would be derived from a guess and check method, and camping would be found from driving random roads looking for solitude. This is our opportunity to show you the most impressive and unexpected parts of this region in Peru. We didn't really plan this trip. We didn't plan which season would be best in each country. We knew we wanted to do it, and that was enough. With no regrets, we must accept that the weather isn't necessarily optimal this time of year to see the giants among us. With our acceptance, patience, and above all, time, we hope to at least catch a glimpse of the magic this area holds. Hopefully, good things come to those who want it the most. Feeling lucky to have caught these rays of sunshine, we're pulling off to set up camp early next to this glacial river. Even on the outskirts of the mountain range, it might be one of the best places we've ever popped the top. 
Maybe he's sarcastic. Acting on the weather would quickly become the nature of our drive and the urge to keep going. That's and the park rangers. Well, <laughs> some camps are too good to be true. And despite being the most idyllic, perfect camp in the area, for some reason you're not allowed to camp there. So... So we have to camp on this other field, which is not bad. It's just not next to the river. All part of the fun. Mm. Rising with the lights, we would now begin our climb into the Cordillera Blanca. Twenty-nine hairpins would take us from 12,000 to 16,000 feet up the side of this mountain. Six hundred meters. Still climbing. These are some of the coolest views I've ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> elevation we were meeting the clouds head on. Knowing what might be hiding we were prepared to try and wait them out. The longest continental mountain range in the world. Stretching through seven countries and up to 22,000 feet the Inca civilization believed that the Andes were their portal to the gods. The Cordillera Blanca region has the largest ice coverage of anywhere in the tropics, with over 700 individual glaciers and five peaks scraping the atmosphere nearly 20,000 feet above the sea. This is a bucket list region for mountaineers, adventurers, and thrill seekers alike. Clouds, and it looks like we found a little town. It's kind of a neat little random thing. Our over exaggerated zigzag routes took us atop the spine of the range and east into the next valley. The jagged mountainside terrains offer soil for the communities to develop their agricultural ingenuity. And they're certainly going to need to be creative to cultivate these landscapes. When 
When driving these routes, we usually choose to have the music off. The amount of questions, pointing, drooling, surprises don't need any other distractions. So it's about that time of day that we start finding camp. And there's no pins on Overlander around here, so we're gonna test out the old Podemos Acampar key. Can I camp here? This one's nice. Well, it's okay, but there's already a lot of bugs. The farm is very empty. There's no one here, and we do prefer to ask people before we stay on their property. Okay, next attempt. This one looks a little more promising. Do whatever you want, babe. <laughs> Drive over them if you want. That's so heavy. Ugh. Clearly some side of the road camps are better than others. This was one. Good morning. Okay, so you probably noticed something. We didn't go to Laguna 69. <laughs> a, it was quite cloudy. B, I have been suffering a little bit from the flu. So I was really not prepared to go on a crazy altitude hike. And three, there's so many crazy cool lakes up here, like we'll find another one. So it feels good. Yeah, altitude sickness is no joke. And we're trying to, I don't know, do our own thing, do things a little bit differently. We found some other cool spots that hopefully you haven't seen before. And we're gonna go find those today. But first we have to find out if the route we want to take is open and passable. There's a lot of landslides everywhere. So we got to find out if we can get to where we want to go. We've noticed the best weather just after sunrise. Knowing the best views are still ahead of us, we're up when the rooster calls. And yes, there's always a rooster. We're trying to figure out what these uh, boulders and stumps mean. Does that mean we can't go this way or what? There are notices posted on iOverlander that our route is closed, which would mean a huge detour and missing the rest of the Cordillera Blanca. The road contains the highest tunnel in all of the Americas, so we're very intent on making it happen. Yeah. Literally the worst one. <laughs> With the trust of a local saying that the road is open, we make our way out of the valley and back into the Alpine. enjoying this film, please smash that like button and consider subscribing if you're not already. It's free and it really does help us out.
drive the highest tunnel in the world? Yeah. All right. It's been on my bucket list for years. Okay. There she is, 4,600 meters. The fact that it was raining inside the tunnel didn't inspire a lot of confidence about its structural integrity, but it built a lot of anticipation for what we were about to see on the other side. Mountains that portray the wise old grandparents you've been dying to learn from. Different shades of white tell stories and tales, the wrinkles and cracks remind us of the ever-changing existence. You'll always leave with something. really pays off to be here in the wet season and still see these peaks is a blessing. <laughs> like, wow, and it makes the light so even so you can really see all the little details. To say this was fulfilling our dreams of this place would be an understatement. To say that the best was still to come would be an even bigger one. Pretty good, uh, pretty good lunch spot, I'd say. Yep. Lunch. Lunch today is a block of cheese. And some overnight oats. But the chia seeds didn't chia, so. So they're gonna be a little crunchy. I don't even think you could count the amount of waterfalls around here. Do you think the cows know how good their life is? That's a massive place here, that's so cool. This camp spot would put us in perfect proximity to ascend the neighboring glacial lagoon in the morning. We're playing bocce. Quick game of bocce. Whoa, where did that go? You see okay, it? So what do I do? Can you see it? Yeah. Yeah, what do you do? Do you remember how to play? Use your uh, ball. What, that's so heavy? Yeah, you'll be fine. Okay. Closest one wins. That's really bad. <laughs> Not too far. <laughs> Tonight, it's a one pot wonder. All the veggies and some really nice pork that we bought on the side of the road at a market. And we're making a stew. Heck yeah. These are all the veggies from that market we stopped at. Oh my gosh, the flavor. Phenomenal.
a homemade little spice mix that we got in Colombia. I don't know what it is, but I've been using it all the time and I love it. Maybe it's El Nino, or maybe we prayed to the right Inca gods, but so far we have been blessed with great weather, despite the forecast. If it wasn't already obvious that not many people come here, no one was even at the control point. <laughs> nice. Just dummy locked. Perfect. <gasps> it's a pretty tricky gate. <laughs> Glad it opened. That would have been a bit of a wrench in the plan. Yeah. We're in, though. We're in. In the last few days, we've enjoyed switching out our yogurt and granola at breakfast for jagged ice-covered peaks and glaciers. This is Laguna Yaca. This glacier and lake are watched over by three impressive peaks reaching over 20,000 feet. Our first Peruvian made mate de coca, which I think is just coca tea. I think it's coca tea. Maybe. It smells like coca tea. Oh, but it tastes way more herbal than ours. It tastes better than ours. <laughs> <laughs> 
Maybe. <gasps> oh my gosh, I just got this grand idea. I bet you they sell those bags of coca leaves to tourists and they're probably just like grass. Or not even coca. Good lord. Descending from the White Range, we're headed into a far less famous, but equally impressive area called the Cordillera Negra, the Black Range. the ever-present ice covering every peak, it's easy to see the intricate details in the mineral-rich layers of rock and sediment. Truthfully, we've never seen anything like it. I've never seen anything like it. Oh my god, you can hear how I've been breathing cross. Look at this thing. These black rock faces remind us of only one other place, Iceland. Okay. We're making our way through the backside of the Huascaran National Park. Most people come here to see the Pastoruri Glacier and that's where all the tracks stop. Naturally, we're venturing farther. Look how fluffy your face is. You look like a big bear. The popularity of the neighboring White Mountains left us with zero expectations of this area. No photos, 
or even an idea of how foreign and untouched this region would feel. This is insane. This is crazy. I don't even have the adjectives. Everywhere we look, 360, there's the coolest mountains I've ever seen. We're currently parked. That's funny. We're parked right now at our elevation record, 4,850 meters. So we might just break that record today. Okay. 